Hello and welcome to Best of Tutorials. My name is Amar and in today's video I would like to talk to you about a warning that was issued by the FBI for those who are still using Windows 7. Before we start, please make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel to get notified when we post new videos, and share this video if this was helpful. Thank you. I still like Windows 7. FBI issues warning over Windows 7 end of life. The Federal Bureau of Investigation has sent a private industry notification on Monday, August the 3rd, uh, to partners in the U.S. private sector about dangerous of continuing to use Windows 7 after an operating system has reached its official end of life. Uh, it was earlier in this year back in January and this is the document um, I'll, I'll put the link in the description below so I'm just going to read it very quickly computer network infrastructure vulnerable to Windows 7 end-of-life status increasing potential of cyber attacks uh, summary the FBI has observed cyber criminals targeting computer network infrastructure after an operating system achieves end-of-life status Continuing to use Windows 7 within an enterprise may provide cyber criminal access into computer systems. As time passes, Windows 7 becomes more vulnerable to exploitation due to lack of security updates, new vulnerabilities discovered. Microsoft and other industry professionals strongly recommend upgrading Windows, uh, upgrading computer systems to an actively supported operating system which is uh, in this case Windows 10 as we speak. Migrating to a new operating system can pose its own unique challenges such as cost, new hardware, software, uh, and updating existing custom software. However, these challenges do not outright the loss of intellectual property and threats to an organization. I'm, I'm just going to leave this document uh, in the description below so you can read it you can click on the link uh, read it yourself uh, I want to mention that um, continuing you know if, if you continue to use Windows 7 that's really bad uh, Windows 7 has uh, a lot of uh, vulnerabilities uh, they still exist they are not they are not patched I can give you a couple examples here uh, the eternal blue exploit which is uh, one of the exploits that was uh, in the original one, a cry uh, a virus or, or malware, and it was used by uh, the ransomware. Wanna cry is one of the big ones. Uh, financial crime, uh, crypto mining related. Uh, another one that's still uh, not patched is the blue keep exploit, which basically allows an attacker to break into a Windows 7 device that has uh, the RDP. Uh, protocol or, or, or endpoint enabled basically if you are um, using remote desktop protocol to remote to a machine if you're working from home today and you're using RDP uh, and you're using Windows 7 you are probably have this exploit so it is very important to uh, to upgrade to Windows 10 or, or basically any other operating system even Linux or something else but if you're you have using Windows uh, you just use Windows 10. Uh, something important to um, to talk about here as well is to ensure that your antivirus, spam filter, firewalls are up to date, uh, properly configured and secure because uh, most of the time uh, the problem comes with with the configuration not really um, exploit or something so maybe your IT person forgot to configure something and that caused a problem uh, auditing a network from time to time 
if uh, if there are some computers that needs to be used for example you might have some computers that run some specific software and that software is not available on the new operating systems you can just isolate that uh, computer from the network so if in case it gets hacked it doesn't uh, allow the attacker to get access to your main corporate network or at least to eliminate their their access to um, the important files or, or um, data basically um, any uh, anybody using RDP should should be thinking about not using it or closing that port um, you know or use multi-factor authentication where it sends you a text message or, or pop up on your phone uh, to uh, to allow you to do the next step which is allowing you to remote in this case anyways I help uh, I hope this is helpful thank you for watching It is very important to mention why you should not use Windows 7 anymore. Well, for obvious reasons, uh, there are no updates being released for that operating system. There are no security patches, which means it is available and it is an easy target. Think about it, uh, why a hacker will waste uh, 30 minutes of their time targeting Windows 10 machine if they can hack Windows 7 machine in 3 minutes and this is possible and I can prove that it's very easy uh, I don't need any special knowledge any script kitty can download tools from the web or from the dark web and they just basically try to target any machine that's running Windows 7 and they will probably be able to you know hack let's say even 10 percent of the computers really easy uh, relatively easy if you like me to do something like this videos Please leave that in the comment below and I can I can demonstrate how to do that for education purpose only of course. Um, now another thing is uh, think about the cost uh, and the hackers really know that you know big companies that have thousand ten thousands of computers they are unlikely to upgrade to Windows 10 because of the high cost it will uh, they will inquire in this case and they know that Windows 7 is variable and for example if a hospital has a thousand machine it's unlikely they upgraded their computers they are still running Windows 7 it's very easy target very soft target a hacker will target the hospital hack into their system and probably encrypt their files and ask for a ransom in this case so make sure to upgrade to Windows 10 if possible although there are some some issues with Windows 10 uh, recently in the 2004 version we are we had some clients having uh, issues with searching some clients had uh, issues with printing with the explorer but you know it, as long as it is secure that's the most um, important thing uh, those are small minor issues that can be fixed uh, thank you for watching uh, I appreciate if you like this video and share it with your friends and again make sure to subscribe to our channel to be notified when we post new videos See you in the next video. Thank you.